With COVID-19 symptoms now including stomach pains and other gastrointestinal issues, so how can you tell if it's COVID or something else like IBS? I am joined by Dr. Joseph Kappa. He is a gastroenterologist at Hartford Hospital. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Kara, for having me on. So since these symptoms of IBS or uh, colitis could overlap, how can you tell the difference between those and COVID? Great question, Kara. This is a common question we see uh, in the office all the time, especially now during this crisis. Inflammatory bowel disease is really a chronic condition of the GI tract. You hear about Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. About 1.8 million Americans have it, over 20,000 here in Connecticut, and one out of 200 people have an inflammatory bowel disease. It's a chronic condition that is often led by periods of relapse and also periods of, of, of periods of relapse and flare and periods of remission where there are really no symptoms. So when patients develop symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease, many of the symptoms overlap with what we're seeing with COVID. For example, the most common f of symptoms of patients with inflammatory bowel disease is diarrhea, rectal bleeding, some cramps, fatigue, malaise, uh, also sometimes a loss of appetite. And this overlaps significantly with the COVID symptoms. With COVID though, we usually see a fever uh, as well as cough, some shortness of breath, uh, but it is actually there is a significant overlap and it's very important for us to make that distinction and try to separate the two. So what's your advice? If someone is not sure and they're worried about getting care right now because of the pandemic, they can do a virtual health meeting with you or yes. someone and, and that can be very effective? I think that is the most important thing, Kara. In the past, these patients would contact our office and come into our office and see. And one of the concerns that we have, uh, many people are trying to deal with this at home and, uh, and we're missing out the separation between what is inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, and infection, or, or uh, which can be a bacteria or a virus, and one of those is COVID. So our best advice is really to contact your primary provider and discuss over the phone the opportunity for a televisit. We've been very open to doing televisits now, and this has given patients great access to the practice and really understanding their symptoms and trying to help them sort it out because our role is to try to sort this out and try to determine who can be managed at home, who needs to come in the office or who needs to go to an emergency room. And we can manage that at home by really kind of reviewing their medications and really trying to understand how we can distinguish what type of testing they might need uh, to be totally uh, uh, taken care of and figured out what's, what's going on. Uh, because the overlap between IBD and COVID, we're trying to understand this right now. Now it's it's unclear, you know, how that is related, but there definitely is an overlap in symptoms, and it's important to contact the primary office to find out. Absolutely, you'll feel better after you can sort it out with your physician. Thank you so much for sharing your information, doctor. Great.